Now it's time to talk about the Variable Geometry Turbocharger, known as the VGT. Now the VGT is going to improve throttle response by providing boost control at both low and high speeds. We're going to get into details talking about this when we see specifics. But the VGT is electronically controlled by the vehicle's PCM, but it's hydraulically actuated using pressurized engine oil. Now the VGT is also sometimes referred to as electronic variable response turbocharger. Here's what it looks like. We have over here on the right a representation of a control solenoid that's a spool valve. It's going to be controlling oil pressure which is the red. Right now it is open. We have all the air going in on the left side getting as much air into the engine as possible. Maximum boost. Here we're at low speeds we've closed the, the, the veins. When we close the veins, we get less air and we unload the compressor side of the turbo. It allows the turbo to spool up faster with the available power coming out of the exhaust. By unloading it, we get a higher speed. And we don't need much boost at low speeds. What's going to happen next is if we step on the throttle, we're going to increase exhaust flow, which gives us more power on the turbo at the exhaust side and we're going to open these veins up to let more air in but our turbo is already up to speed so we avoid turbo lag this is the secret for the variable speed turbo and we can talk about infinitely variable we've got these two sides of our um, vein we can go open one way close the other and we'll be activating it when we activate it we're actually moving this positioning plate which is moving in this slot which is going to open and close the veins. Here's exactly how we open and close the veins. We have this movable plate with the position control. As the plate moves back and forth it's going to change the opening of the veins and move them open and close. Let's go look at those veins and, and see what happens in scan data. Here we are sitting with the engine off. We are right now at 0% duty cycle. 0% duty cycles means the veins are wide open. That would be the position for maximum boost. If we were running and we wanted to close them, we'd be 100% that'd be fully closed, would have minimum boost. But let's go back and look up there at the data again. The other thing we have up there is the exhaust back pressure. We measure the load on the turbo by how much back pressure. When we're at 100%, closed we have minimum back pressure when we're hundred percent open we've got maximum back pressure because the wide open veins is throwing a heavy load on the turbo making it work harder so right now we have 14.4 psi of back pressure that's a barometric reading let's see what happens when we start the vehicle up we're running 3300 rpm we have 35.9 percent duty cycle we're three quarters open. That's lots of boost. As a result, our back pressure has gone from 14.4 up to 34.2. That's an additional 19.8 inches of back pressure. That tells us the turbo is working really hard and has a big load on it. Here's an example of where things have gone wrong on back pressure. I've added something in here. I've added the back pressure desired at 3.88 psi. The absolute back pressure, what is measured, is 19.7 psi. What's happening here is we have more back pressure than we need. Something must be stuck. The turbo must be having a higher load than we anticipate. That's what this is telling us. This is how we can use scan data to really get some good information and do some diagnostics. We keep going back to that. But let's talk about this VGT control valve. The valve is commanded by the PCM based on engine speed which is coming from the crankshaft position sensor. Also calculated load which is coming off of mass fuel desired, how much fuel do we desired, and the RPM of the engine. That gives us the engine load. And we're going to use manifold absolute pressure sensor. That tells us what pressure is going into the intake manifold. How much boost do we have? And the PCM utilizes the back pressure, the EGR back pressure, to monitor the turbo's performance and the amount of load we have. So this is what the VGT 
spool valve looks like. It can switch fluid to either drive it open or drive it closed. And we'll talk about how that happens and what's going to happen when we open and close these veins. Let's talk about this command control. Now the command can be varied and it can be viewed on scan tools. It's described as percentage closed. This means a low percentage means the veins are commanded to the open state. The open state will give us maximum boost. That will raise the input pressure, the boost pressure on the intake, but will also increase the back pressure because we're making turbo work harder. We wouldn't use this at low speeds because it would slow the turbo down excessively. Low percentage means the veins are commanded closed. That gives us less turbo boost, which we don't need at places like idle, and it re reduces the load we'd have on the turbo, which is what we'd need at an idle speed. We want to keep the turbo spinning at a good speed, so when we step on the gas, if the turbo is already up to speed, we reduce the turbo lag. Let's talk about this and go through it one more time. Low duty cycle means the veins are open, maximum boost. High duty cycle means the veins are closed, low duty cycle. Open veins, high speed, high load. Closed veins, low speed, low load. But we can't just go that way. We've got to modify it more specifically. We've got to match it better. There's a great deal of energy available in the exhaust. Excessive boost into high load will give us an overboost condition. Excessively low opening. If we close them, we'll get a turbo overspeed. So the vein's going to be commanded to keep the turbo from overspeeding and yet give us the boost we need without overboost. That's why it's so important these veins don't stick, and we'll talk more about that. In between loads with varying uh, vein operation. We have this operation with moderate speeds. They're commanded to partially open to maintain the right position to give us the right amount of boost and give us optimal combustion, as well as providing the necessary back pressure for EGR. We, to get EGR to work, we're going to have to have back pressure. That back pressure comes from vein position and the turbo. So that's some of the stuff to keep in mind. And here's what we're looking at. The veins are fully open at the top on the left. They're fully closed on the right. And here's our veins, what they look like as they're laying separate. And we're trying to control this airflow to get the optimal amount of airflow. Let's take the time to discuss what we're looking at here. Here's our compressor on the upper left. You can see it's starting to accumulate a little bit of carbon and dirt buildup. That might need to be corrected. Those are our veins that are going to open. The veins are there in the middle. The control plates are over on the right that we're going to move to open and close that. Down at the bottom left is our mounting. And then here is our turbine. The turbine is where we get our energy. By running the exhaust, we get this to spin at a very high rate of speed hundreds of thousands of RPM. If we put a load on the compressor, we can't get as much speed out of the turbine. That causes lag. If we have a slow turbine and we step on the gas, we get turbo lag. That's one of the things we're trying to avoid and why we have these variable veins. So let's talk about a VB, VGT test drive. If we see the veins going somewhere outside of the 15 to 85 percent range for more than a few seconds, the veins might be sticking. Going to 15, going to 15 says you're trying to open them wide to get more boost. Going to 85 says you're trying to close them. When we get inside those two boundaries, we're going to the extremes. Something must be sticking. Watch the back pressure. It should go to a minimum of 40 PSI doing a good hard acceleration. If not, check for back leaks or something causing a problem. Looking at the data at the bottom right now, we're doing 3,300 RPM. We have a good load on the engine. We've got 50% of the veins open, and we've got 50.9 PSI. That says we've got good back pressure. The veins are opening. We're getting what we want. If, those, if that percentage moves around very much during steady throttle, that 49.9, you probably have sticking or stuck veins. We'll talk more about di diagnostics on this next.